Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to this weekly message for the week of March 24th, 2024. And the message today is around overwhelm and overcoming overwhelm. We begin this week with this lunar eclipse, which is initiating us into this eclipse season of uh, spring 2024. I, I think it's a beautiful time for us to really come into the heart, come into stillness. And the message that I've received this week is really about simplifying things, right? There's so much information out there. There's so much happening this year. And I don't know about you, but I was have been really feeling the energy and um, re really had to take some time this week to kind of unplug and, and tune out. But one of the things that was given to me to to help to kind of release some of this sense of overwhelm or information overload. I was told by my higher guidance that it's really important, especially this week now, as we enter into this eclipse portal, to learn to just come to center and to really be very choosing about what energies we choose to let into our field, right? And the encouragement was to feel into our own energy, feel where our energetic body is, right? And then with every decision that we make and with every piece of information that comes our way to be very aware of that level of energy within it. So if it's an opportunity that's coming with your way, if it's a choice, do I watch this video or not, right? Do I click on that link or not? Do I eat this food or not, right? Um, do I choose to go for a walk right now or stay home and work? Whatever choice it is, feel into it, right? And is this a choice that helps your energy to feel more uplifted or is it going to bring your energy down? Okay, it comes down to that simplicity. Does it lift you up or does it bring you down? And uh, so in just asking that one very simple question, it can help us to move through this time with greater joy and ease and to un, uh, let go of some of this burden of overwhelming energy and choices coming our way, okay? Every choice is very simple. It's either going to bring us up or bring us down, okay? And so choosing becomes easier when we remember that, right? So I'm going to choose one card here from my spirit animal awareness deck to support us this week and as i shuffle i i want to invite you to um my latest gathering it's a guided meditation gathering that's free to join all you have to do is join my email list the link is below and uh, we're just going to come together in community and uh, call on the angelic energies and the energy of Mercury or Hermes, asking for the highest aspect of uh, that being to assist us in aligning to the positive aspects of this eclipse season and asking for peace, inner peace and peace in the world. And if uh, if you catch this after this has happened, you can sign up anyway because I do um, similar gatherings twice a month and I would love to have you join us. Okay, so here is the card for this week to support us. The card is ferret, and I always think of ferret as this warrior energy. Um, he's very direct. He's very, uh, he knows what he wants, right? And he's able to just kind of focus in on the goal or, you know, what what he needs. Also, there's this kind of positive ad attitude about ferret, right? I find ferret to be a very direct animal, right? Really zeroing in and able to go in for the truth, even if it's hidden, right? So this is an encouragement to seek your truth. And again, remembering that, uh, you, you know, for every decision we make, there's there's an inner truth for yourself. It's every decision we make speaks to our own inner truth. Is it going to lift us up? Is it going to bring us down and to really uh, see through to the truth of every decision that we have? Okay, so have a wonderful week and remember you were born to be free.